but let me just tell you what we're doing for you guys today is building a hype beast room with under five hundred dollars at ikea so one thing that does really well in hype beast rooms to balance um, art and shoes and design are plants so finding cool plants for the wall is priority so these are the kind of the plants the style I was thinking of where it hangs down, kind of like blending in with your art and shoes. The idea is you find the product you like, you take a picture of it, get the barcode, and then they'll find it for you downstairs. So I think what we're gonna do is two of these on the wall next to each other, maybe one in the corner of my room, which I'll also show you guys and then do some white shelves in these kind of scattered next to it so they're off center next to the shoes and we'll do art and plants on these shelves i just bought a new way spend a couple thousand just to cruise it shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it i never tell her but i put it in the music well that's okay all i want to do is make the best of my whole day thank the lord up above you know when you go to the grocery store and you're like all right I got all my groceries. We're doing one trip into the house. Listen, same thing applies to Ikea. One trip to Ikea, one trip in the house. We're doing this. Oh my God, I hope this fits. No help needed. This is the wall we have to work with. The shelves are gonna go here, and we're gonna get some plants and some art to kind of fill everything, and may maybe even some lighting to make everything look special. We're getting closer. So, I forgot to tell you this. I found these puppies on Ikea.com. The lady at the store told me it happened. The day after we left Ikea, I was like, you know what, let me just go online, look again. Found them online, ordered three of them. I actually don't need three anymore, I only need two. But, I can always return. So, let me show you. You remember these shelves? Put them on the wall a little off-center to give them a little design look, you know? If they were kind of staggered on top of each other, they would have looked too plain, too normal. This way, they look a little staggered, a little cool. You can have one thing kind of hanging on the end and over there and over there. Add some plants, add some bare bricks. This is gonna look really cool for art. This is for the kicks. Now, I'm gonna bring this about a touch over about here and a little bit lower because if you look up, it's a little too high. And for now, this is like my little charging station that I have down here. The key is to have things clean not cluttered. That's why over on the other wall, I'm doing one shoe shelf and not two because it would be too crammed in that corner. But I used this empty corner, as you can tell here, it's completely empty and bare, and needs a shoe shelf. So we're gonna throw one more of these in this corner and then we're not gonna use the third one because we don't want clutter. I will continue to keep you updated when we move that over, when we hang that up, and when we put our stuff, our art on the walls. Now, we got the shelves done. I put everything so far that I want up there. I'm gonna continue to grow my collection and I'll show you where I'll put certain things, but I wanna show you the final product because it looks amazing. I'm not gonna show you my full room yet because we haven't done the house tour yet. The house is not finished yet. I'm waiting for the house to be finished. House tour coming soon. We're just gonna do small parts of my room without showing you my whole room. Let's go. We're gonna walk you over, walk you over. Ta-da! So, as you guys remember, we bought three of these floating shelves, which we now have beautifully on the wall. So what I did with the floating shelves was I did them a little off-centered because I didn't want everything so straight and on top of each other. I wanted it to be a little staggered and have a little design to it. So we did the first shelf and the third shelf about the same length and we did the second one a little more inward. As you can see, we used our IKEA plants here. I actually used them in another location which I'll show you in the house tour. But I used two of them, one that kind of hangs over this dead space here and one that kind of hangs over this dead space here because you can't put anything there. We put two of our cause up on top as well as the cause book. 
I wanted to put more books on these shelves, but you have to be careful because they're floating and there's not that much support under them, so you can't put things that are too heavy. So we put one book and the two cause guys with the cause book up there. Second shelf are the collection of bear bricks that I have accumulated over time. I got all of these for below the value on StockX and hopefully the idea is that they will go up in value over time. From left to right, we have the Bape Bear Brick, which unfortunately only came with the 400%, not the 100%. That's why he doesn't have his little brother with him. The Kith Bear Brick, which came with his little brother. I love the Kith Bear Brick, big fan of Kith and what they support. This is the undefeated Mickey Mouse collab. Some of you guys know Blake Wayne, he collects a lot of this stuff. I actually got this, this, and this from Blake. I got this one from Dennis Tedisco. Outfit Grid, some of you guys know him, so shout out Dennis for this one. It also came with his little buddy. Um, and lastly, this is the Canada Goose Bear Brick. I love the half and half. I thought it would go perfect with Dennis's Bear Brick kind of side by side. As you can see, we color coordinated from dark to chrome, left to right. As of right now, the Funkos down here are holding place. As we get more Bear Bricks, the Bear Bricks will start to fill the lower shelf, but I like the little Funkos for now. I loved the MTV Mood Man that was kind of like, gave me a little flashback to back in the day. Russell Westbrook, Zion, Larry Bird, Magic. Cool little collection of Funkos for now. Of course, some Hypebeast stuff. The Travis Scott cereal box. Um, of course, I had to support Mamba in the back. This was actually the pamphlet they gave us at Kobe's memorial that I went to with my dad. These were the tickets from the celebration of his life and the book that came with the memorial. Um, honestly, just a beautiful day and we will always remember the goat. So that will forever stay up on my wall. A good family friend of mine who passed away actually gave me this when I was at Baylor. He was a big college football fan. He bought this for me. Um, and I've kept it ever since and I wanted to always keep it on my wall because he means so much to me and was such an important person in my life. So this will forever stay on the wall no matter what comes up here. Next over here, you guys have seen these before. I had to get it because they look so good with the room. I remember I was telling you guys before, I wasn't sure how many I was gonna put in my room. This one I thought was enough to go with this wall. There was so much going on over here that I thought one right here would be perfect next to it. It fills this big empty space. We put it kind of like right smack in the middle. As you can see, we kind of color coded the wall. Starting with the Duvin basketball at the top, tying in my love for basketball with art and sneakers as well. Um, Wands, Fear of Gods, APLs, APLs, Travis Scotts, and Blazers. Uh, just kind of color coordinating everything, keeping it a very white cream one tone on this side of the wall. I like to keep things very clean, just very simple. Charger, a little thing for the light so I don't have to reach all the way over to the lamp that I keep here. This is just a cool alarm clock. You can play music and do all sorts of things on it. But I wanted a place to put my books. So we have the Andy Warhol Basquiat book here as well as another cause book and holding them up, which I will hold here, a base candle. If you guys haven't used a base candle, they are incredible. A very simple, very cheap light, under 30 bucks. Looks really fancy, looks really nice, kind of ties everything in together. Without showing you too much of the room, I'm gonna go and show you one other corner of the room, and I'm gonna give you the background as to why I wanted to create this wall. The number one reason why I loved the idea of that wall and the design of that wall is because of this mirror and because of the content. So I had this big empty wall and I have art throughout the house, I have some art behind my bed, but this mirror is a great tie-in for this room. Um, I always like the idea of having a mirror next to your bed, but it fills in a big wall that I have over here. But the coolest part is that I can give you guys content of the outfits that I'm wearing every morning in this mirror and also give you my artwork in the background. Let me show you what that looks like. The idea is that I sit on the edge of my bed, I make my bed every day, make your bed, it's always nice to get into a fresh bed. I make my bed every day, I get on the edge of my bed and I take photos like this for you guys and post them to my story with a beautiful design in the background. So this is the angle that it looks like from the mirror. It kind of just gives you a straight shot. Uh, it's a little more zoomed in now, the mirror gives you the whole outfit, but you get the idea, it gives you the outfit with the artwork behind me. The Kobe pamphlet from the memorial obviously is not enough for me in my room to devote to the GOAT. 
Honestly, one day I could imagine myself naming my kid Kobe. That's how much Kobe meant to me. Behind me was a gift that a family friend gave to me when I was younger. It is actually a game-worn signed Kobe jersey. It has some pins and things on the side. The framing is also really, really nicely done. Obviously, as you guys know, unfortunately, the value of things went way up ever since Kobe passed, including shoes and all that stuff, which I thought was ridiculous, but this obviously went way up. I will never sell that. That means so much to me. That is the goat. I put it above my bed just to remind me every day to have that Mamba mentality. Into this corner of the room we go. Shoes to me are art. Some people might have a canvas. To me, I have sneakers. Every pair of sneakers has a story to me. These actually for now are just the sneakers that I put up that I think look beautiful in the room. But I wanted to put this in this corner. I think it really fits perfectly into this empty space. You can't really put artwork there, but it really fits in nicely. The white blends in with the room. The white shoes we saw over there, the black shoes we put here. APLs, off-whites, Yeezys. These are the auto lacing Nikes. Off-whites, shadow ones, and then a signed ball from the Lakers. Got Magic Johnson and the players from that era all on that ball. My dad actually gave me that ball from when he was a ball boy with the Lakers. The other thing that I like is that the black on the shoes tie in with the black on the mirror. Everything in the room kind of goes. Everything that I do in my house or my room always blends and ties in together. Everything that you see is planned and designed to fit together. As you guys can see in this video, I'm not showing you too much of my room. I don't wanna show you everything. There's still some things that need to go in. I'm still gonna put in a little charging station over there. Uh, on the bottom of that wall so I can charge cameras and phones and, and be super organized because I am organized like that. But I didn't want to show you guys too much. We're just showing you bits and pieces, getting you ready for the house tour.